Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on my video today. Today I'm going to be going over three upgrades that you should do to your FlexCore welder uh, right when you get it or you know if you've been using FlexCore, uh, FlexCore welder for a while and you want to make some upgrades to improve your welding a little bit or whatever your reasoning is. Here's three solid upgrades that you can make to help you weld better. All right, so let's start here with the welding lead. Not that this is like a huge upgrade, but in my opinion, it's a little bit better. So this contact tip cover is normally used for gas shielded wire feed welding. You don't need that when you bought a flux core only machine that has no way to hook up gas. So you can just remove that. It gives you better view, a better view of your contact tip. Set it off to the side and pick up one of these little lead end covers that uh, gives you a little better view of your contact tip. They're a little more slim. You just don't need the copper cover. And so you can use one of these to just get a little bit better view of your welding bead while you're welding. And then also just to cover up the machine internal parts a little bit better as well. It's not a huge upgrade, but it's actually something I prefer. Uh, I like to have these on my flux core welders. And even when I'm using my multi-process welder, my 40, 140 MP, I like to put these on and remove copper cover when I'm using it for flux core welding. So the next thing is the ground clamp. Now this is actually a pretty decent ground clamp. It's got the copper contact tips and then a braided copper wire here in the back to give you a much better ground, but there are even better ones than this. Not that there's anything wrong with this. This would even be considered an upgrade from the ground clamp that comes with the Century FC90 as well as the Titanium Easy Flux 125. Uh, this would definitely be an upgrade. But this ground clamp here, which I have put on both my Forney Easy Weld 140 MP as well as my Century FC90 is an even better ground clamp. It's a solid brass clamp. It opens up quite a bit wider for a thicker material, more options to clamp down on. And uh, I feel like I just get a little bit better ground out of it a little and put down a little bit better weld beads. So this is another simple upgrade that you can do, very cheap. This isn't gonna apply to everybody, but one of the last things you can do is upgrade your welding wire. A lot of flux core welder manufacturers will send a wire spool with their welder just to get you started. Usually that wire is not that great, um, and I'm sure that there's people out there that consider this Blue Demon stuff not that great either. I have good luck with it, and I actually like it. It's a 30 thousandths, two pound spool, that I picked up for like 16 or 17 bucks. Uh, very inexpensive, and I think it does a really good job. I've also had a good experience with, with Forney, Vulcan, and then Lincoln Electric. Now my issue with the Lincoln Electric is it's not as good of a value as say this Blue Demon stuff, or some of the other brands I just mentioned, but supposedly people say that it's the best. But anyway guys, consider the Blue Demon, consider other welding wire brands, but uh, everybody swears by the Lincoln Electric stuff. You can check it out. You basically get half the amount for the same price. Again, I like this stuff. You can find links in the description to all these products that I mentioned here to upgrade your flux core welder. They're gonna be on Amazon. You can also find this stuff at your local hardware stores. If you use the links in the description below, you do help out my little channel and it doesn't cost you anything else. I get a small commission. But yeah, thanks for watching everybody. This is just three simple little upgrades you can do to your flux core welder. Like I said, the wire is something that might not apply to everybody. Please go down and click subscribe. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.